Yeah, hey. he has Do a quick shot. intro for me. Just yeah. introduce yourself. Oh, yeah. sure, sure, sure. You're famous now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Roosevelt Cooper here Come down in the. Oh, okay. no, he's perfect. He's oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. I'm Roosevelt Cooper here in the Hampton Roads area. We're out here at Greenbrier uh, YMCA tennis court location, and uh, we're having a blast doing some clinics. Um, I've been playing forever since 12. I've been coaching forever since about 12 or 13 as well. I, I'm from DC originally, and um, I'm just happy to be in the area and, and giving everybody uh, this knowledge that I've learned. I played some tour ball. Um, I played for Norfolk State University, um, and I, I had a blast. And tonight was a great show on tonight, and I hope everybody, uh, they had a blast. Thank and you. when will your clinics be? My what clinics time? will be uh, Friday, uh, 7 p.m. every Friday. Uh, and Saturday will be 6 p.m. Um, and depending on the uh, size of the class, I want to keep it at an eight-person minimum every time we do a class. So if the, if the size grows, we'll have a second session on Saturday, and then we might even grow into a Sunday. Perfect. Thank you from MVP Athletes. Back to you at the studio. <laughs>
side. It doesn't, it doesn't, 
he doesn't scream at you or anything like that, right? So what I mean by that is, just because you see the ball up here, doesn't mean you start your swing up here, right? I still want you guys dropping the racket down low and going up to your shoulder because if you think about it, you'll eventually meet that ball on the play, or on, on, the, on the way to the, to the shoulder. Eventually, when you're going up, you're gonna meet this ball, even if you start down low. If it's here, you're gonna meet it. If it's here, you're gonna meet it because the goal is to get to the shoulder anyway. So don't, don't let this ball control you. You control the ball. So when I saw you hit your forehand and it goes to the neck, the ball's here, but you put your racket here. It's okay to have your racket here, but make sure you follow the, 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 the stroke all the way up because we're looking to get it over the neck. We're looking to spin, we're looking for height, we're looking for depth. That's why those balls are back. So let's try that.
Nice and relaxed.
guys are. You guys don't need me. You guys can already serve. There you go.
right there. All right.
guys are about to see is how your miles per hour will go up, right? Some, some of you guys are tossing the ball right above your head. That's called a kick serve, right? The more I suck my ball is, the more my body weight, it can lean, the more I can throw my body weight on the ball, right? So when I'm here, up top, yeah, I get some pace, right? But when it's in front, I get more pace. Effortless. Right, so you guys want to make sure you're tossing that ball in front, right? Not too far, like if you toss the ball and it makes you run, that's not a good shot for you to hit. Right, you just you want that ball to be right in front, and that gives you the pace you, that pace you need. Like an arm link. Yep, like an arm link in front, absolutely. Also, make sure, make sure you guys are tossing with your fingertips. Right. A lot of times people are tossing in your palm, but what happens is when you toss in your palm, the ball goes backwards. You know, it goes backwards instead of tossing in your palm. I see Serena right. catch it sometimes when she has a bad toss. Yeah. Right, She'd exactly. be like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so, another reason you toss with your fingertips is because it stops it, it decreases the amount of rotation. When you toss with your palm, this ball is going to rotate. It's rotating. When I toss with my fingertips, I don't get that much rotation. Right? It's just sitting right there for me. But if I toss with my palm, that ball's spinning. I already want to put my own spin on the ball. I don't want the ball spinning a different way, right? Alright, so guys, let's get some more service. Let's finish these serves up. Getting that racket in back scratch position, 
and you're, you're actually going out this way more than you're going this way, right? That's the difference. I'm going out that way as opposed to going this way. This way is more flat and more slider, right? You see the ball's curving. It's more, you know, for a slide serve or flat. But when, you, when you're hitting the kick, you want to be, you want the ball to be behind the head, right? That's a, here's, here's a point, a huge point. Behind the head. A lot of people think it's this way, right? Something with a guy. People think you just toss it this way, and that's the kick. I'm like, no, you don't just toss it. It has to be this way as well. So I like to toss, I like to get it back here, going this way, right? The guy says, yeah, well, if you look at Federer, he tosses the kick out of front. Now, that's a different kick. That's an aggressive kick. Today, we're just trying to learn how to get it. Right? So you want that ball coming back. Think about it. You want it coming back to your strings so you can brush it. Right? Up and up. The aggressive kick is more in front. No different than your flat surf. Right? So that looks something like this. Ah. All right, so you get you get this kick that has me jumping way into the court, but it's out of front. You don't have to do that. You just need you got to get used to making. There's a sound you want to hear. This is how you know you're doing it right. You hear that? Yeah. It's more of a like a brush sifting brush sound, right? If you hear a pop, you are not brushing the ball. Right, you are actually flattening the ball out. All right, so let's get you guys in there. Let's try it out. Yeah, you can, he gets a nice, a nice, a nice good one. Yeah. So when you serve it, you want to make sure, make sure you're gripping. So look, no kick serve can be hit with this grip. That's a forehand, that's an eastern grip. But you want to be more like that. Continental. Now, there you go. Now, here's the issue. Here's the issue. I like that song. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, I got that. Here's the issue. Was that behind his head? That serve is still on the right side of your body. All right? So you want the Thank you. 
I can teach you a sign in like five minutes. It's crazy. All right, so we have this dirty diaper technique, right? We call it that because no one wants to keep a diaper close to the right? You want to keep it wet. So um, when you're serving, when you're kicking it, you're going up and out, and you're keeping the dirty diaper away. As far as, far as you can, you're like, oh god, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to be close to this thing, right? So you're going up, keeping it away as much as you can. Up. Oh, that's a huge kick. As opposed to this and stuff. So you're going to keep it away and you still finish. So well, even though you, you're going, I don't want you guys to stop. I don't want you guys to be out here and it's like, man, what's what you guys to do? <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want you guys to do that. So you're still going to swing out and finish. But you're just sideways a little more. So notice I get my brush, I'm done, and now I'm turning. As opposed to the kick serve, or what, I'm sorry, flat serve. In the sli uh, slice, you're turning in for the kick up, right? As opposed to the kick, you're a little, you're waiting a little longer, boom, to get more brush on the ball. All right, so let's try that. Okay, Eddie, don't block the camera. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. 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 That is lost. 